Welcome back to the Instables, everyone. Merry Christmas Eve. I wanted to go over the weekly chart and the monthly chart with you guys so you guys can see the swing and the long trade perspective. What exactly are we looking for to go along here? What exactly is our short-term swing perspective? And where exactly is pressure heading? So we know exactly where we're headed next. Again, with our decrease in buy pressure here on the weekly chart, we have been looking to see if we can increase in strength. And as you guys can see, continuing to decrease in strength. Hit the like button if you enjoy. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Let's jump right into this one. So jumping into the weekly chart with you guys here on the spot, I wanted to recap on this again, giving us our overall picture here on exactly where strength is headed. Again, as you guys can see on the daily chart, again, we have been talking about how we have anticipation from, again, Nick Simaros mentioning that possible Fed pivot. And again, dropping below our 50-day moving average here, giving us confirmation on a continuation on lower, now sitting within an area of balance here, looking to see if we will get that possible bearish candle set up here with our 20-day crossing below our 50 leading into this week. Now, looking at our overall momentum is very key because if we're looking at our candle structure on the weekly chart, as you guys can see, we are getting a rejection below our 20 weekly moving average here, just below it. And we are looking to see if we will continue to get this rejection leading into this week again. This week may be low on volume and that may be that continuation on lower here and possible respect below our 20 weekly moving average. But if we do continue on with this bounce, again, getting that rejection of the downside here with our wick, if we continue on with this bounce and we do jump above our 20 weekly moving average here, then we could possibly look for that possible continuation on higher. But again, we do need our 20 weekly moving average to cross back over our 50 weekly moving average before we do get that bullish momentum. And again, looking for that bullish candle setup on the upper end of our channel would be the play here if we were looking to see if we can continue on higher. So again, back to the weekly chart, if we do, want that swing momentum to the upside. As you guys can see, we do have that decrease in buy pressure. We're looking for increases in solid green bars here to see if we can possibly continue on higher here. As you guys can see on our weekly chart, we do have our email lines pointing down here, showing us that we are not increasing in strength. Uh, we very much are looking to see if we will cross back below our 26 to possibly get that continuation on that pullback that we have been getting after, again, Powell mentioning what he mentioned about unemployment not being high enough. So again, we are going to see if we do continue to curl down here leading into this week, or if we do continue on with momentum as we are holding above our 26 at this point in time for that possible continuation above our median of our MACD here on the weekly chart. So again, keeping this on watch, very key here, guys. Again, this is the watch, in my opinion, this week is to see if our 12 EMA will cross below our 26 on our weekly chart, which will give us that signal on if momentum is shifting to the upside or possibly continue on lower. Again, the median of our MACD is going to give us that strong pressure. Or if we do get our 12 crossing below our 26, then we will get that strong pressure to the downside and get that cool off like we had here prior. So again, keeping an eye on the weekly chart and on the monthly chart, as far as our candle structure on the monthly chart, as you guys can see, on our 50 monthly moving average, again, we have been bouncing off of it. We are currently getting an engulfing candle to the downside again, getting that rejection on the upper end of our channel here. However, as you guys can see, very much looking to see if this next week of trading will close our monthly candle here with that engulfing candle. Again, we have an engulfing candle at this point in time, but however, we need to close this engulfing candle to show us that we are getting this clear rejection here. And then we will be looking to see if we do drop down below our 50 monthly moving average here as we are curling down here. So again, we did, again, get that respect here in the last few weeks, looking to see if we will close with this engulfing candle. Again, closing our full body again and covering our prior body of our candle here showing us that is engulfing candle looking to see if we will close to the downside in my opinion that very much will be that close to the downside if we do get our weekly moving average 12 ema dropping below our 26 here that will be that confirmation on that continuation on lower again we are sitting within consolidation dropping below our 50 at this point in time so we are very much on watch here guys and that is why we are going to stay on watch we are not jumping above our 50 day moving average we're not dropping above our 20 day moving average for that possible continuation on higher that would be a whole different story if we were starting to respect it we started to curl up here and then we were looking for that continuation on higher then we we can surely say that we can possibly get this bullish candle set up here again, possibly continuing on higher and giving us that pullback and then that possible engulfing candle to the upside to show us that we are respecting the upper end of our channel here that we have been getting rejections from. Again, that is our overall perspective here on the daily, weekly, and monthly chart. So that way you guys know exactly what the intraday play is, what the swing trade play is, and what bulls are looking for on the monthly chart now again with that said if you are a day trader if you're looking for very volatile breakouts i know the market can get pretty choppy sometimes sometimes the market is just super inconvenient and that almost seems like there's not many runners that are moving throughout the day 
but we mentioned any breakout, any movers that are worth looking at throughout the day in the Incibles room, any news two and a half hours before market open, although we are paused in the alert service till January 3rd, go to instables.com in the description below. And only for $15 a month, you guys will never miss a break alert today again. And again, all of you Instables that come over and support the channel, hope you guys do have a blessed Christmas Eve. Enjoy your Christmas. Much love to everyone of you guys that have been supporting me. Truly, I do appreciate it every single day. And again, if you guys do like this video, it does help the channel grow. And I do appreciate it very much. And again, God bless you all. And I'll see you guys in the next video.